Amen. Gary, big twin, Dorton, was a reverent man who was dedicated to his community. No farewell words were spoken and there was no time to say goodbye. I did not know how heavily involved my cousins were in gang activity because they protected me from that as well. Who the number one team? <laughs> he passed away fighting against something that he was trying to change. When I was a kid, it was like on my way to coming out the house, you know. I had to like lace in my shoes and putting a belt on. I had to put a gun on me. That was a way of life. See, when you get older, you kind of want to, you know, be able to address if it's a problem, talk it out instead of fighting and shooting it out, you know. That always been my wisdom, you know, and uh, because I always felt like once you was my brother, you shouldn't turn to an enemy, but some things turned and curved all that that situation. I get a call and someone saying that he had got shot. He was a great dude and uh, I couldn't believe he was gone. I couldn't believe it. Well, I started the softball league in 2016 to bring neighborhoods together to solve, help solve some of the problems that's going on in the city of violence and homicides. I met Twin as a, uh, an employee colleague. He jumped in right away. A lot of people feel that the league is all Crips, but all Crips do get along. But in reality, we don't. We ended up with 12 teams, getting guys trained as ambassadors, as mediators to resolve issues in their community and also resolve issues on, on the field. So uh, we also want to do something um, for Twin, man. And, um, you know, Twin was a, a great individual, a great ambassador, a great father. We want to try to try to give the right impression for those that left a mark on us. We are called soft targets. And based on the work that we're doing as peacekeepers, I don't Gang bang, I don't carry guns, I don't have pulling boot vests on. We all know that we are sacrificing the most, it's our lives, trying to, you know, bring peace in our community. As much as you have, Gary and so many others from this community, try to build a life, motivate youngsters to stay away from crime and violence. It was one of those are two or three of those youngsters who killed Gary. Unfortunately, Gary was a victim because of the good work that he did. The, the question was, who kills a peacemaker? I remember one time he did call me, it was kind of late. He was just crying because he, he just felt that they, they weren't getting it when you're dealing with a culture or a system that basically is pro-violence at some point, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, get them to understand it, you know. Um, you could represent your community or even your neighborhood, but it shouldn't be at the cost of hurting someone else or someone else having to die because of that. And um, he, he just really felt that you know, he was doing something good for his community, uh, but they really couldn't see it or appreciate what he was doing. So we must know each other and get together and see each other and make peace. But now we have an opportunity for the healing to begin. Honor and 
ambassadors on ambassadors on the field right quick. That's why he, he chose to do that work, because we know what they're going through. We, we was those type of youngsters. I want to contribute to this game right here and make this game right now in the honor of Twin, the homie. He was an ambassador in the memory of Gary Dort. Thank you for your support, dedication, loyalty to our community. This is for your outstanding contribution to our uh, agenda to reduce violence and trauma that pledge our communities. I think he would want me to carry his torch and his, his passion. I feel like I have to live for him now too, you know. That everybody can say, man, when I see you, I see your brother. We all got the same suffer. We want to work, we want better for ourselves, we want our kids to have a better place to come live and come hang out, you know. In order to, it's got to start from us, you know. If we don't do it, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it?